Turns out my baby loves to fish She wants to do it all the time Early in the morning, in the middle of the night She's hooked, and now she can't get enough Man, that girl sure loves to fish Okay, welcome to another episode of Verdugo Adventures. Today I'm just going to be showing you guys a basic uh, beginner's video of how we set up our rig for sharks and bat rays. Um, if you notice right here on the table, I have a 130 pound uh, braided pea line line. A lot of people may think, wow, 130 pounds, that's a little extreme. We'll use anything from 80 pound braid to 130. We'll usually only use 130 pound braid if we're going to be fishing off docks or piers where there's going to be uh, pillars where the bat rays can wrap themselves around. Um, you're not going to pull it out with anything less than a 100 pound braid. If it wraps around, your line's going to snap, even with 50 or 60 pound braid. Then bat rays are extremely strong. <laughs> um, as far as our leader, we have our homemade leaders. And I'll be doing another how-to video of how we actually make our leaders. Uh, we use really sharp hooks. We use 90 pound uh, steel cable leaders. Uh, some people use mono. Uh, I like to use, personally, I like to use a uh, steel cable. Uh, if you're going specially just for bat rays, definitely can use the mono. It ain't going to hurt anything. But if you're going to go for sharks, I would definitely recommend the steel cable. Just because it's a lot harder for the sharks to bite through steel cable than mono. They bite through mono like that. Um, as far as our weights... Usually when we're out like at the Sally Andrew Marina, Dumbarton Pier, um, anything like that, we'll use anything from a size 4 weight to a size 6. Um, that's on average. Sometimes we'll even have to use an 8 or more. Um, as far as our sliders, we like to use Arts Custom sliders. They work a lot better than the cheap old plastic ones. Um, I've never had one of these fail on me. We work great. Uh, definitely uh, Verdugo Adventures recommended. You should definitely uh, check them out. And then we also have our bead. And this is actually a very important uh, piece of equipment. <laughs> and I'll show you guys how it works right now. Okay, so we have our line. We're going to go ahead and take our slider put it through now we're going to take our bead and what this, what is going to happen when you're going to cast is your slider with your weight is going to come pounding down on your main knot it's going to pound down on it every single time you cast and eventually your knot's going to wear thin but with a simple bead let me put that on you're going to protect your knot because all the pressure of your weight is going to hit this bead instead of your knot. Okay, get that on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach my leader. Uh, you can use whatever knot works best for you. Um, our personal favorite is a polymer knot. I'm just going to tie a quick one right now, but if you need to, uh, if you need some help with how to tie one, we actually have a video up, a uh, how-to video up explaining exactly how to do that. So definitely check it out. Okay, I'm just going to finish up my knot here. go just like that then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach a size 4 weight for now go ahead and attach my weight I'm gonna cut off the rest that I don't need I usually leave about a quarter of an inch okay so this is what your rig is going to look like. And like I said earlier about the bead, 
if you notice your weight, it's going to come slamming down on the knot. But the bead protects it from the weight hitting it so hard. If you guys can see that. And there is our steel cable leader. It's a pretty simple rig setup. Your basic uh, Carolina rig, also known as a sliding rig. Uh, but uh, yeah, there it is. Hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching. After that, that's all she wanted to do. That was okay, cause I did too. She always wants to go down by the dam. And I love how she looks with that rod in her hand. If they ain't biting, she don't give up. Turns out my baby loves